a bit like a reading of two pictures. Um, that, that, he is a very, very, very challenging artist. So for a long time, Frank and I both love the paintings. I'll, 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 I will say this, a quality that Manet has, that can be very compelling to you if you love painting and before you even begin to think what kind of intellectual understanding of it you can have, is that his paint appears so fresh. I mean, when you go to the Musée d'Orsay and you approach the Déjeuner Soleil, you have the feeling if the god wasn't looking and you went like that with the search, you'd have green paint on your finger. <laughs> it was still wet. Uh, if you go to the Golbekian and you look at the boy blowing the sofa, which is also a painting of roughly this moment, right after, it's the first painting man he does after the exposition, after his show of 1867. I mean, the factor, the paint in that painting, the touch, the sense of his touch is so strong, and so vivid, and so fresh, and so original. Stella once said, uh, when, when Frank was showing his early paintings and he spoke at an art school, and someone asked him the question, they said, Mr. Stella, what quality are you really looking for in your paintings? And he said, you know how great paint looks when it's still in the can? <laughs> I would like it to look that good on the surface of the painting. And, that, and that's what Manet can do.